Hello, people. Welcome to the amazing Reborn show. I'm going to fade this music like some sort of pro, and then my camera's going to jump in just like this. <laughs> Welcome. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me actually sort out my camera a little bit. It's not in the right position. I'll go down here. Maybe I'll be a little bit bigger today so you can see that I haven't shaved for a year. This is a year of not shaving. Um, because I'm not very manly and let's turn off the music completely apparently the music's meant to be turned off wait oh I know what's happening no I don't I can hear myself how is there still music <laughs> Oh, okay fixed it what a guy um, what a guy okay Welcome to the show, the Amazing Reborn show number three. Um, for any of you who don't know what the Amazing Reborn show is, let me first explain that it is firstly amazing. Um, it's a show and it's about Reborn, which is a video game that the good studio and friends are making. And the video game is an FPS game. That being said, I'll start talking to you. And hello everybody in chat, by the way. <clears throat> Took a year to grow this beard. Isn't it amazing, by the way, when I don't rely primarily on trance, um, that all the shows that I do by myself start on time. When trance is at the studio, it's ridiculous. And I call it a show, and that's quite a big word. And I also call it amazing, and that's also quite a big word. Probably neither. All right, but let's get started. So um, let's have a recap. Um, hopefully some of you were here last week. Uh, every week we show you work that we've been doing on Reborn. You guys get to vote on stuff. I continue to tell people to do work with your feedback, and then we show you what's happening next week. Um, and so far we've been mainly working on... Um, uh, concept art and kind of just you know the direction of what things are going to look like and then um, we'll be moving on to um <laughs> and then we'll be um moving on later into gameplay and all that kind of jazz right but i'll try and answer some questions at the uh at the um end of the show but let's get rid of this amazing thing let's bring up oh that was me let's bring up that you can see the dashboard. I like your dashboard like this because you guys are close, but I'll make it smaller so it doesn't get in the way of the screen. This is my amazing background. I made a folder for Reborn called The Amazing Show. All right, so last week in The Amazing Show, we, um, we showed you some concepts. Um, obviously, we showed you the updated version of uh, the Reborn uh, model, um, and you guys said you kind of liked it. Uh, we showed you the rocket launcher um, that we worked on. You guys, you guys liked it, I think. I'm just saying that. Um, but you also said that you needed to be bigger. You were like, this rocket launcher needs to be beefier. Uh, mainly because we looked at this and we were like, it needs to be bigger. That's what you guys said. Um, then we also showed you some environment art concepts for the uh, kind of levels, uh, all the arenas. Um, there can be various different types of levels, and this one was an arena. Um, and you guys thought it was quite cool. Um, some of you said it looked a little bit too clean, like you're in a hospital. And um, that was your feedback. Um, and then we also showed you the, the minigun, some of the early concepts of the minigun. Uh, you guys said you kind of like this and this, and you felt that this barrel was maybe better. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, you had some feedback on this. I can bring up your feedback because I keep it just to show that I'm not lying. Um, rocket launcher, make it wider. Chat likes girth. Um, minigun, Mag 2 is nice with barrel 3. Uh, maybe a mix and environment art you liked, but I concluded that you guys have horrible taste Thus, I do not know why I do the show um, So let's bring up a new Notepad and we can start today's show with all the feedback 
the community. Notepad is like Notepad. If you guys haven't heard of Notepad, by the way, uh, download it. It's new, and it's gonna be big. That's just that's just a tip for you there. Um, get on that shit. Is all I'm saying. It will change your uh, perception. <clears throat> All right, cool. So let's look at what we did in a week, um, um, and then we'll talk, and then we'll take some questions. Hopefully, my shows will get shorter and shorter as we produce less and less work. No, that's not good. Hopefully, my shows get shorter and shorter because I'm more precise at delivering content in a non. You know, you know, when you have to think all the time for a word. What's the word? I don't know. This is why the shows last an hour. So, let's go into the amazing um, document and we'll start looking at show free, what we've been doing. And the first thing we should show you, because basically we, um, we, uh, we took your feedback and then we made some edits to the rocket launcher. Uh, basically, this is the original here, modeled. You can, maybe my webcam's in the way on this, but whatever. That's our, let me just move it over a bit. There we go. Uh, this was the original um, at the bottom, number three. And then this is with um, a bigger exit hole, number two. It looks a little bit beefier, as you can see there, the rocket launcher model. And then that's a short version. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a simple question, and I'm going to use straw pole because that's how I roll and um, and my straw poll is going to be basically rocket launcher one two or three create a poll um, your poll has been created all right nice and easy guys it's just going to be in chat and then you just uh, go into the straw poll which one are you happier with one two or three um, I think two is the right direction um, I think one almost could work depending but we'll have to see but do you think that it's uh, this is uh, we're going right with number two and I'll check for results and I'll let you vote holy sh okay uh, that's good. All right. Well, this was your feed. This is your feedback. Okay. So, of course, you're going to vote for number two because this is what you told us to do. So uh, you just want to be correct. But sixty percent. And actually, the next favorite one is number one. So that's interesting. So that's. Uh, I'm on a Swedish keyboard and then uh, cool cool fuck free some people like free <clears throat> well now we know your uh, preference of um, uh, phallic objects guys that's just that's smashing. That's some great feedback right there. Um, so I'll close that. First poll concluded. Um, I'll put 16%. Well, you can work out what the percent is there. Um, all right. Free sucks. Free for the win. The f will the physics be like for that free? Rigged poll. Um, all right. Okay. Cool. Cool. So that was um, some of the work that we did last week on the rocket launcher. Uh, now to show you um, the next weapon and basically we did the minigun um, and this is the minigun concept so rather than take a poll I'm just going to look at chat and be like do you like it um, we kept the kind of uh, redness in here um, you know keeping the kind of theme with the, the blue energy this is like a energy source almost clip and we've got a uh, a barrel that will spin so we have some nice animations and we can also animate stuff up here on the top similar to the rocket launcher um, <laughs> wider 
I think it's fucking awesome. The only thing I would say about it, okay, is that, you know, it could remind you of a hairdryer just in shape, which could suggest that no one will have wet hair in Reborn, the game. Um, but not yeah but otherwise i think it looks quite good the only thing that we um we think might uh change is either we're making a wider barrel um but also we might shorten this part depending on how it looks um you know we might shorten this bit here and make it a little bit more interesting we're not sure but um it's a leaf blower not a hairdryer yeah um Six barrels, maybe. You mean like less barrels? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of barrels, actually. That's good feedback. Let's put that in. Uh, Minigun feedback. Um, less barrels could make it look a little bit more beefier. And I think a shorter uh, body. And you guys think maybe a wider barrel. Um, because you're just into the wide. But the hair, the hair dryer gun, it's going to be sick, guys. It's going to be sick. Um, so let's, uh, let's move off from the minigun. You guys are giving us some feedback on that. Um, so we did an update on the um, concept art. Um, so last week, and we should bring up a comparison. Um, uh, this was the concept art um, originally. And then we took a little bit of feedback from you guys, as well as had some input ourselves in terms of trying to create something with a little bit more functionality. We actually had a really good post on reborn.gg and uh, someone posted like, you know, this, this and this, and there might be problems with animations because of the shoulders. Um, and so we, ate, we did an upgraded um, uh, functionality concept, which is this. Um, so what we can see here, if we put them side by side, because I'm amazing at moving windows, <coughs> is uh, we kind of worked on making sure that there is a solid base for it, really. You know, everything under the shoulder pads and everything that's colored. Um, the idea being is um, you'll be able to change these armor pieces to different shapes and stuff so you can be more awesome. Um, we've removed the bicep things. Um, the arm is meant to be where your gun attaches to because the arms that we showed you earlier, uh, they get attached to the um, from the elbow downwards. And when you change weapons, it kind of diffuses to wireframe and then back. Um, I think it's a big improvement on the arms, yeah. Um, so I think it's just better overall and you guys seem to be uh, agreeing with me. Get back bicep things, oh my god, you guys like the bicep things. We pulled the arm out a bit on this one as well as you can see, there's like a connection here. So, but uh, I think you guys are generally yeah, the, the robots will be able to have left and right handed, by the way. So you'll be able to decide uh, which arm your gun goes in. Um, not a fan of the kneecaps. Yeah, hey, we could probably work on some stuff. I think we mainly just tried to, to do some of the functionality here. And also, um, yeah, not, not so much. Just making it look, um, <laughs> looks really, really okay. No bicep is better. Don't like the blue thing on the elbow. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, this doesn't look particularly good because I think it was at the end of the concept that Johan did. But generally, I think this is quite nice um, how it kind of ties together. Um, wider kneecaps. Why no hand? Center armor. The legs look fucking annoying. I uh, We can work on stuff. I mean, what we're actually going to be focusing on is um, the torso. So I'm going to show you the kind of concept of the torso and then, um, yeah, crotch gun. 
I know you guys watch Corta. So we've been working on building um, a robot core. Um, just to explain one of the reasons why we're really interested in the core of um, the robot that you will have is the idea is you get a robot core, okay? This is your robot core, okay? Um, we've designed this in a way that obviously you can fit arms and legs into it and that's meant to be important because your robot needs arms and legs because otherwise you're going to be pretty shit uh, reborn if you don't have arms and legs in the game that is you don't need legs to play reborn legs optional we specialize actually in developing games for people without legs I have no legs and then um, this is the core so we're gonna model this up first uh, make it nice and then it has no armor on it and the reason being is is one of the cosmetics you're gonna be able to change is you're gonna be able to put armor on it um, and the word I am looking for yeah is modular so yes it's yeah so you'll be able to change the armor blah 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 now when you pick a different type of robot to play it will actually change the arms and legs and you know the armor and it will look maybe different and it will play maybe different okay and that's the reason we're trying to make it modular we want you to kind of at least have a robot that you own which is the core um, and then <clears throat> and then you actually will be able to kind of change which robot you're playing and it will change the arms the legs and the head and some other stuff, right? Um, this is all cosmetics, you know, in terms of like the what, what will visually um, happen. And some of it might be connected to different gameplay, um, you know, so different looking robots. Uh, to give you an example, maybe this robot has, you know, more slim and wings as his shoulders, because fuck, why not, right? Wings. And that will essentially be a different robot that you can play. Okay, so um, I don't think there's much really to say about the core because it's kind of, it's, it's what's underneath your robot, right? It's what you're going to be able to make cosmetics for if you're an artist interested in making 3D models. You're going to be able to put armor on like the chest and the back and you're going to be able to write your name on there. We've covered this in the previous show and it's cool. And this robot is neither male or female. Um... You know, it, it looks male to be fair, but fuck it. Um, then, um, so that's what we're going to work on. Okay. Ta -da. You will also notice that there's holes in the back. The holes in the back are actually going to be an attachment, which is going to be for your backpack. Um, so do you guys want me to talk a little bit about backpacks? Because that's actually gameplay mechanics, I guess. You can, and if you don't want me, because I know a lot of people want me to talk about gameplay, but uh, I'm also on Snapchat, so I'm kind of busy. But if you if you want me, I can help you with gameplay. No gameplay. Okay. So this is the idea I've got for backpacks. So if your robot essentially is just what you have that is a cosmetic. Um, in terms of what it offers to you. The backpack um, will actually change your movement system, okay? So I'm going to be developing a backpack and these backpacks will have set physics um, coded to them, okay? The ones that we do. So one backpack might, you know, kind of allow you to slide and do this and do that. Another backpack might allow you to move in a certain method uh, with physics and be able to like double jump or whatever and these different backpacks are basically what you're going to be like I want to play this you know like I want to play this style of robot As, you know insert backpack um, currently we've got three backpack movement physics ready um, who knows if we we'll add more but w because we've assigned the code to something physical in the game when we allow you to mod the game in the future we are actually allow you to make like your own backpacks so if you wanted to create your own physics and you know kind of like gameplay 
in terms of how something moves, you kind of, you know, you, you change the, the attributes and the variables of all the stuff that we work on, and then you save it as a backpack. And you can actually give that backpack like a name, a manufacturer name, you know, so you could name it like, you know, boom, this is, I can raise the mic a tiny bit. Um, and therefore you can create your own physics and it's kind of like we're allowing you to do that in a separate area in the game which will kind of feel like a warcraft free modding i guess um and hopefully you guys will be awesome at it but hopefully you also enjoy our backpacks that we do can i have flying backpacks with rocket launchers for legs and mini guns for arms no um <laughs> I don't know, maybe you can, um, depends. Um, so yeah, this is why we're going to have the holes here is because you're gonna choose a backpack that will connect to your robot and that will be part of your movement physics. Now, of course, a lot of people have said to me, it's like, oh, but James, if you allow like different movement physics, are you gonna allow those, those robots to play against each other? Sure, we probably will. There probably will be servers like a CTF game and someone might move a little bit quakey, someone might move a little bit quake worldy, and maybe someone moves a little bit, you know, different, and they might be all in the same server, you know, and you might want the person that's really good at air control movement to go capture the flag, and the person that's really good at this type of movement to be a defender, okay? This will kind of be like, you know, inviting a lot of people into a server to play, you know, whatever they want. Of course, a lot of then people have said that, you know, if you put it all in the same server, how do you balance the game? Well, we're going to see. And at the end of the day, a game's meant to be fun, and that's a fun concept for us. And we've played games with different movement physics uh, against each other, and it's been good. Uh, but also, I can agree with a lot of people that, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can create a tribe's backpack. That's fine. I'm not going to create a tribe's backpack, okay, because I don't want to get sued. Um, I'm going to edit that out of the video, by the way. I do want to get sued. But um, let's say, for example, where people are like, oh, but I don't want to play against these type of movement systems. Then, of course, we can have servers where people play against uh, similar um, backpack stuff. So you're, you know, we're, we're, I'm not really worried about the community kind of um, uh, segmenting so much. I'm actually more concerned about providing different features, gameplay, and tools for different communities. I, I don't think there's any reason to pretend that you want to be as big as Call of Duty when you don't have the finances to market uh, the way the Call of Duty is. And Call of Duty is not for everybody. I would rather kind of deliver something to the Quake players, the Unreal Tournament players, the Quake World players, and all these different communities and the tribes, etc., and deliver something new as well that we're doing. So we're going to focus on what we're going to do and you guys can sure as hell just be like, you guys are shit, we're gonna do what our, we're gonna do. And you know, we, we're heavily tools focused, okay? That's why you have a backpack. So that's some gameplay information. Hopefully that made a lot of sense. Um, and you're super happy with it. Um, yes, so we're working very hard on tools for you guys to do stuff. Um, yeah, the, the race mode, the defrag mode isn't done yet. I can tell you what we're working on in the engine as we stare at this screen. Uh, we've been working on tools for the community to be able to bring um, custom blocks and textures into the game. We're actually working with um, uh, James Smith, who might be in chat. He's doing us some test textures and blocks for our map editor. And then also um, uh, Helena is helping us as well, okay? so. Backpacks, they're the future. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, and there's more, I can give you more about gameplay in the near future um, once we, yeah, do some stuff. It will be awesome. So that's some good information, I hope. James Smith, yeah, two times James is. I only contacted him because his name was James. And I was like, you're in. And just to remind you, um, you know, these people that are helping us right now, they're not getting paid if they do work and you know we use it you know we're trying to figure something out with them to make sure it's worth their time but if you're interested in modeling making sounds creating you know stuff in our development process you're more than welcome just to contact me um, at email uh, i think my email is uh, jharding at twitch.tv 
and then J, just the letter J, and Harding at twitch.tv, and also on Twitter, which is uh, follow2gd, okay? Backpats over hats, absolutely. So, um, um, just to show you, our concept artist got a bit bored and made this robot. Is this robot better, by the way? I think this robot is better. I think we scrap the other robot and we do this one. I'm down. I'm down. Um. <laughs> Best robot. <laughs> Reborn 2 is called. It's our sequel. And all you guys need to do, new, do is uh, donate a million dollars and we're there. Okay, so last week, um, some of the feedback that we also gave, um, and I want to show you this, just because some people said that uh, the environment art, they wanted it a bit more moody. Um, so we did a moody test and I kind of, I don't know, I mean, we, we have so much to do on environment art, right? So we're definitely not anywhere ha as happy as we are with the model. But if you look at these two next to each other, I mean, I'm not down with Moody. I actually think Bright is a lot more fun. And we can do a straw poll because um, I would like your guys' feedback. But the idea is, is like I feel that when you're in this game and you're going to be playing, having something a little bit too Moody... Um, Um, uh, would I say bright, bright, like, um, yeah, okay, I'll just do bright and dark, it's a really horrible straw poll, because it doesn't really explain much, and I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, um, but, <coughs> I mean, I don't know. You can go vote. The thing I, the reason I want the maps maybe to be like kind of brighter, not maybe not as clean as this, and I want more interesting floors like tiles and stuff, is just because it keeps it, it like keeps you kind of like feeling that it's okay to be in this environment and doesn't like just make you feel like claustrophobic that you need to get the fuck out. Um, and this one's a little bit too moody. By yeah, it's way too moody. So I, I'm thinking of trying to work with our first environment piece, and there will be more environments in the future. At least start with something a little bit brighter. Um, so I'd like to see your results. And as I... Look, you guys, we're amazing at game development. Why are we amazing? Because you agree with me. And um, that makes me happy. So that's really good. And that's a lot of votes as well. So you guys... Um, you guys are cool. Um, and of course, this is just one of our environment pieces. There will be more. Um, and there will also be environment pieces done in the future by the community. So do not worry too much if you don't like what we do. Um, you should still just totally give us your money. Because I promise it will work out. Okay. So... Um, <laughs> Let me get that feedback, because um, I will remember this anyway, because I can watch the VOD, but, um, yeah. The only thing we have to consider when we're doing bright environments is that, like, the enemy models um, have to kind of still pop, and a lot of the times in Quake, if you were ever playing Quake, the environment was kind of brown and a bit dungy darky, and then the models popped, they were bright skinned. Um, so we have to make sure that we have a nice balance so you can see the enemies um, that you're fighting against in the multiplayer or, or whatever you're doing at the time, okay? Um, all right, so that's a lot of what we've done with art. Um, that's the robot. I'm on track, I'm on half an hour. I could get the show done in 45 minutes. This will be amazing. Um, so next, let's just, I just want to check with chat. Eggbot vote, please. <coughs> Eggbot as CTF objective or riot. Eggbot 100%. Eggbot versus normal bot. I, the fact that you like Eggbot, we can maybe do something with it, okay? 
Let me just uh, catch up with you guys. Um, yeah, there should be there should be a lot more detail in that environment piece, like something going on like dirty or um, mechanical stuff. But that it's a it's a base of what we're going to build onto, and um, we've got some people working on the environments. But we'd love any additional help. And yeah, I was looking to stroke my ego when I did the bright. <clears throat> Color scheme to darker. Yeah, that's a good idea, Young Thames. We're going to practice a lot. Eggbot instead of flag. Carry Eggbot and run with him. Like a mini version of Eggbot. Like you run with him in your hand or under your shoulder, like under your arm. Like you cradle him. So like the Eggbot, you know, you'd pick up the Eggbot and then he'd kind of be like here. And then you'd be carrying the Eggbot around and it'd be like capture the Eggbot. Or would he be on your shoulder? We need to put some serious thought into this, guys, okay? We're loading up Photoshop. How do I load up Photoshop? Okay. You want to play Eggbot? Oh my god. You guys are derailing the show, by the way. You're so juvenile. All of you. And here I am, making it okay to be a juvenile. Yeah, let's get this motherfucker in here. Okay. All right, robot. Okay. I think I stretched him. I made him fatter. Did I make him fatter? Fuck it. It's fine. And now Eggbot. Okay. Eggbot. I can't cut him out because I don't have the skills. But let's try. Oh my god, my PC is so laggy. I'll make it nice and big. Mm. Uh. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, here we go. Eggbot. Motherfucking eggbot. Let me cut you out, brother. buddy. I don't know what happened back there. I think my finger slipped, but I've, I'm already moving on, so I have to, I have to keep going. I was. Uh, I hope there's no kids watching. This is what you guys expected when you were tuning in. Eggbot! Alright, so where is Eggbot going? Because... Uh, are we putting Eggbot on the shoulder? Kind of like surfing him? He's in a surfing pose. I mean is this how it is this how we roll? Or is Eggbot kind of being cradled under his arm or maybe in his hand? Eggbot head into his backpack in his belly under the armpit I did crotch like a kangaroo under under his arm a hundred percent like I think he just looks cooler surfing his his shoulder pad I mean this is football oh man you bastards <laughs> like he's just kicked him and then he's like flying away Reborn. I'm not fucking straw polling this. <laughs> Eggbot gun. Okay. Uh, 
How would the eggbot gun work? Where would you fire? Oh, okay, I see it. So it would kind of be like this. You would attach there. Get a little bit smaller. Eggbot gun. <clears throat> We're leaving her this. Um, he pees on you, Eggbot. He's a bitch. Okay, so we've. This is brilliant, guys. Thank you very much for the feedback. Let me just write this down. buy for weapon skin okay I'm gonna leave you for a second we're gonna go for a commercial break commercial break um, I'm gonna put on some music I'll be back in literally two minutes um, just to try and when I return we we um, we have sanity okay so you got two minutes guys and then back on track <laughs> Ah, it was two minutes. What are you guys complaining about? Welcome back to part two of the show, bitches. So I didn't mean to call you witches. 
<laughs> um, <clears throat> in all seriousness, okay, I'll save this because it's amazing. Some quality effort went into that. That was show two. We're on show three. Okay. If you guys, in all seriousness, right, want Eggbot, let's say in the future, Eggbot or <laughs> it becomes, like, if I allow you to cosmetically change your robot to look like this, okay, it's at your own demise, right? Because the fact is, if you're playing a multiplayer game and you run into a fucking middle of the room looking like a twat, right, everyone's going to shoot you first, okay? So if you really want Eggbot in the game, okay, I could model the shit out of this. It's just a big circle. <laughs> okay? But it's at your own demise if you buy Eggbot as a cosmetic. Okay? I'm just saying. Alright? <laughs> I want to look like a twat, says Obs. I would play it anyway. I'll pay a hundred thousand. Stop bullying Eggbot. Fuck my life. Alright. I'm actually going to tell Johan and I'll have someone do a 3D model of Eggbot and we'll stick it in game for testing purposes only. Alright. Yeah, it's true. Only a... <laughs> okay. I don't believe we're going to model Eggbot. I really <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking assholes. I mean we'll do it. We're model leg bot. We're fucking modeling. This show is meant to take your feedback into consideration. I'm starting to question that. Okay, so let's move off Twitch chat you won. Okay, you win again, as always on our shows. Um <clears throat> we will now um we will now talk about sound. Okay, we're going to talk about sound. What is sound? No, let's not go there. All right, so um, in the game, not all feedback is good. In the game, okay, we need to get some sort of theme music, etc. If you guys want to give me like what kind of, like just write in chat because I, I, I can't list you all the music, but just kind of write me like what music do you think would fit with this game? Like just like general theme music or menu music, you know, kind of like electronic, epic, um, I don't know. There's too many fucking genres. I mean, I'm, this is a stab in the dark asking you. I mean, after Eggbot, I just really shouldn't bother asking for your opinions. Um, Satin, if, okay, whoop whoop. No one said the root stand so I'm do 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 do. Okay. So we have um um cooking music, drum and bass all the way. Ambient electric. See, someone is, is uh actually doing this seriously. Um sexual healing Yeah, okay. Hype music. Well it's it's meant to be menu music. So we had uh menu music done. Um, it, well, it's work in progress done by Nick who's one of the awesome sound guys we've got three sound guys Nick, Ash and Tom and um, and we you know we said like, uh, you know we said like we don't really know what the weapons are going to sound like right now because we're kind of YOLO um, but make some music and this is it so you can listen finished a bit early didn't it it's only a small track right now um. <laughs> wait I'm doing a straw poll again because I really value your guys' opinions um, great poll 
All right. So um, that's it's a bit generic. Um, okay. So you guys are actually. I'm just going to give you this. So just rate it one to ten. Let's have another little listen. I'm in the menus. I'm clicking stuff. Be there. Close your eyes. So, um, yeah, seven, seven, six, five, four, eight, got a couple of eights, got some ones, not, oh God, no ten, one voted ten. Someone was like, that's my jam. Like seriously, someone just listened to that and was like, that's, that's my jam. <laughs> like if I had it in a monologue of music, I would walk to this. Um... But generally, you guys thought it was okay. And that's what I think as well. I think it's like six, seven. It's not, it's work in progress. Uh, I think it's an okay direction um, just for menu. Obviously, menu music is like, you know, whatever. Um, music is trapped, too upbeat. I think it could almost be slower. Who knows? Um, that person might be deaf. <laughs> um, that's not very nice. But then he didn't hear me say. So. Um, slow it down a bit and I think slowing it down a bit as well because it's menu music right I'm gonna go with that guy there okay Hackner I agree with you which means your feedbacks the most important um, I'm gonna test with slow it down okay um, we'll put a test and then hopefully in the future we'll show you more work from Nick all right cool Next up, the theme of Eggbot. No, um, I just wanted to show you uh, show you some music at least, so you can see maybe where we're going. Um, I still want to keep a slightly electronic feel. I don't want to go too epic-y. I mean, a lot of people are using epic music in games. Like every game is like epic music because it just doesn't age. So your game is always kind of music is always relevant. Um, we're making an FPS game, and that was the menu. All right, so. Now I'm going to tell you a, a story uh, to put you in the mood, okay? Not really a story, I'm just going to tell you something. Now, when you're playing Reborn, the FPS game, similar maybe to like Quakes and Emerald Tournaments, Arena FPS, you're going to be in a robot, all right? You're essentially controlling this robot. This robot's your robot. You fucking love your robot, right? It's, it's Eggbot, right? And you're in Eggbot. Um, let's let's bring up the robot. Let's bring up Eggbot so you guys can just really kind of get into this, right? You're you're in Eggbot, okay? Now, when you're killing people in the arena or fragging them, um, as we say, you've also you've got these announcers, all right? So you've got like mega kill, ultra kill, and um, all that stuff, right? So you'll be able to get announcer packs, okay? Announcer packs, you know, that's announcer packs. Imagine them as a global announcer for when you're actually doing stuff, okay? You are Eggbot, right? Now, your Eggbot has software, okay? Your software is essentially your HUD, um, your settings, and all that kind of stuff. So when you actually, like, do all your settings and choose your loadout of, like, you know, which config you're using and all that stuff, it's going to be saved to a disk. And this disk will be like a physical item in game that you can select. You know, like I'm playing a game. I'm going to, I'm playing CTF. I use this software for CTF. And I'm playing TDM. I use this software. I'm playing Jewel. I use this software, right? So you create these disks, uh, which are essentially all your settings are saved. And you, it's going to be cool. So when you create a disk, you can actually like kind of send that disk to a friend in game. Or if someone famous is playing who you really admire, like Cypher, you can just go grab his disk. Okay. So can we back up our disks? Yes. Why not? Stop, stop being a smart ass, Atlas AU. Um, 
so it's kind of like an add-on to this you know building the game in a nice modular way so you can do lots of cool stuff um, etc all right so you've got this global announcer but your disc and your your robot kind of has i want to give it at least its own announcer kind of personality okay so you've got your global announcer which is mega kill and all that stuff that you already know and then you're going to have your robot will have its own announcer pack all right so we've done some recordings um, just test recordings. These lines weren't written by us. We just told Nick. We like, Nick, go make some recordings. So your robot could say stuff like this when, you know, this is very generic stuff, you know. But your announcer pack for your robot could be a lot more fun if you want it to. Anyway, here we go. Weapons online. Yeah. Weapons online. Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. <sighs> Scary. Multiple hostiles. Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Core temperature critical. I don't even know what core temperature is in our game. Um, but basically, your your kind of your robot might have a bit of a personality, um, which I think could be quite fun because it you could also get like announcers similar to kind of. Um, it's very generic. Yeah, it's, it's a nice voice. Actually, it's Nick's girlfriend. Um, um, her name's Azzy. And so you have to give it a 10 out of 10 because she's from Oxford. Weapons online. And that puts my weapon online. I don't know about you guys. Weapons online. So you can have this kind of like, you can choose like, oh, what do I want? What do I want to listen to when I'm being told that I've, you know, done stuff or pick stuff up or, you know, to kind of make it a little bit more fun. You could also go um, another direction um, in terms of like, for example, um <laughs> so let's say um that we um you, you might have a really depressed robot software um marvin like marvin <laughs> i think you ought to know i'm feeling very depressed well we have something that should take your mind off things it won't work I have an exceptionally large mind. Yeah. So <laughs> let's say, for example, we do something like Marvin as a as a as a um, shit. What do you say? A, um, a perchable kind of you know cosmetic thing, right? And then you've got like <laughs> you've got someone. Your robot software is like really depressed. So when you die, it tells you you weren't very good and stuff like that. Um, you know, so it will be like you die, and it will be like. <clears throat> I guess he'd say like, yeah. I I don't even know how to do a Marvin announcer pack, but I actually probably maybe could. But it would just be like you know, oh uh, that wasn't very. Uh, how do you even do it, Marvin? I I don't know. I meant to sound like Snape, but anyway, I'm not going to bother trying because I'm just going to embarrass myself more on the show. But like, let's say we can do stuff like that in the future, and so that's kind of where we feel that it would be fun to play with sound with the software. Okay. I can probably do a Marvin voice, okay, because I know a lot of you know I do Snape impression, which I'm not doing, and I shouldn't mention, because I'm still not doing it if you ask. So I could probably do something like that for um, an option, okay? Brilliant. Good try, James, good try. Yeah, that's what it felt like as well. I was like... Um, and that kind of brings us to the end of this week's content that we worked on. Um, but we're, at the, we're almost at the hour. Um, and of course, as you guys know, we are making um, an FPS game called uh, Reborn. Um, and yeah, if I can get like, um, what's it called? Um, Pyrion and people to do announcer packs, I'd be very fun. That would be really cool. So we're in Reborn now. <coughs> Snape, okay. <coughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Stuff like that. That's all I'm going to do. And that wasn't very good. I need to be really drunk to do a good Snape. And not so high on energy. So, yeah, this is... Um, um, yeah, I'll just load up a map so you guys can see something as I talk over it. 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10.
<clears throat> Mr. Potter, I recommend you use the rocket launcher. It is a far superior weapon for your egg bot. There you go. Fuck you. You guys happy? And I'm not even drunk. Um, so yeah, this is this is excuse the crosshair, but this is the game in making. Just so you have something in the background for people that haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So um, I've showed you some content. I've showed you some like you know updated concepts. Uh, the mini gun. You guys are giving us some feedback. You've seen Eggbot. Um, and all that kind of stuff. We talked a little bit about the backpacks and how they change your movement systems. Um, and you can play against each other in, in some servers and maybe not in the others. So you can still you know, focus on what you want with the video game. Uh, I also showed you uh, theme music. I wouldn't call it theme music, mu uh, menu music. And also some announcers and what we're, we're trying to do with the announcers. Uh, yeah, this crosshair is the best. Um, so we're gonna do a Q and A because uh, that's how we always finish the show. Um, and, oh yeah, I do have good news for you guys, is uh, next week we're hopefully, and I say next week, if it's not next week, it's the week after, we're going to be releasing the build that I'm working on. And the reason that we're going to be releasing the build next week is because people will be able to create content um, in terms of blocks, um, materials, and they'll be able to create maps in the updated... Um, version of the game, which is basically just an update of tools, okay? It's not like an update of the game, like, oh shit, it's fucking awesome now. It's, it's still shit, okay? The game's crap. But the, the tools to make blocks and materials and all that stuff is going to be hopefully next week. If not, I guarantee you'll get it the week after because I'll punch Fire Frog in the face, okay? Um, and the reason we're doing this is because we have community contributors who are al already looking to make blocks and materials for the environments and stuff like that, okay? So it's going, it's going in the direction that hopefully... You guys fucking love blocks, right? You know you love blocks. Okay, so let's take some q and I'll look at chat. Um, I'll stare at chat for a, a good five minutes and take some questions. Um, okay, that was one of the questions. Yes, it's a custom engine. It's made by us. The reason we make our own engine is because we want to be in control of the um, the way it feels in game. It does feel really nice. Uh, we've had a lot of good feedback on like just the, how the game feels in terms of you know. But of course, we don't have all the weapons properly in there and all that stuff. Uh, and also, we're you know we want to be in charge of all the tools that we do. If Unreal Tournament, f uh, if you the Unreal Engine came out earlier, we would have probably used that. Okay. But the fact that we're not, we're going to say it's totally better than the Unreal Engine. Uh, will DEM17 be in Reborn? You can make maps and you're going to get lots of blocks and you'll be able to shape them and texture them and you'll be able to make maps of old and maps of new, like DEM17 or whatever. Okay, I need to read your questions. Um, why does it look like shit? Um, it looks like shit because it hasn't got any artwork in there, okay? It's not, it's not a nice question. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's a very respectful question. Uh, will changing armor change the hitbox sizes? Um, no. All hitbox sizes will be the same for every robot plus its exoskeleton and backpack. And the design should fit um, a similar hitbox. Um, currently, we're looking at one cylinder as a hitbox. Potentially, we might use two. We're not sure, but it's a good question and worth um, um, asking. Um, also, yes, Pleatian, thank you for subbing. The sub money does go towards whiskey and development of the video game and just generally trying to stay alive. So thank you very much for subbing. Um, you're one of 200 subs we have. Um, what other questions? When will the... Oh, when will it be done, the game? Okay, we're going to a Kickstarter in May. You guys know that. We have a good amount of people working on the game. We're not asking for a lot of money on Kickstarter, just because we, we will, you know, we're, we're putting in, I'm putting in as much money as I have available so that I can not mess up a Kickstarter. Source 2 is coming soon. Yes, it is. But, you know, whatever. Fuck. Is Danny Dem one of um, your lead artists? No, it's actually Johan. Um, but... Danny Dem has also kind of given us feedback, and he's really nice. And the people who don't know Danny Dem, he's, um, he's an artist that works on Dota 2 items. 
and pilation. Okay, pilation. Sorry, pilation. Um, do you know what the art style is going to be like? Team Fortress 2 or Counter-Strike or what? It's going to be stylized, so I'm guessing it's more towards the Team Fortress 2. But we're actually still in arguments at the studio to decide how much um, stylized we have against, like, you know, not in a way. I, we know, okay, we know we're going to go for stylized. What we're arguing over is, like, how many reflections there are in the maps and all this other stuff. Because... If you make a map and it gets very intense in terms of um, performance based off like all the different reflections from lights and lots of stuff going on, it means that if you make a map badly, it will perform badly. But if we kind of lower the, um, the kind of amount of reflections and just, you know, stuff that makes things look like, oh, that looks amazing. If we lower those, um, uh, anybody who makes a map will not fall into an area where they'll be like, oh, shit, I... I fuck this up, you know, and we want a lot of people to be able to make maps, which is why, you know, we're not really sure what the outcome of what things are going to look like in game, which is why we're going to model up the robot, put it in game and get some test environment pieces from James and Helena, who are very nice to be helping us. Uh, currently, we're in DirectX. We're currently not in OpenGL. We have someone who's talked to us about if we can outsource to port it to Linux. We've got him on a, you know, kind of talking to him and we're making sure that there's a potential chance that we can do that if the demand is high enough. Um, but yes, so. Um, will there be gun re recoil? No, no, no gun recoil. Um, I don't like gun recoil. I think, I mean, it's a fucking robot. Like, why would a robot have gun recoil? It's a badass. Um, Fries with mayo or ketchup? Mayo. Will Fatality play Reborn? Don't know. Destructible terrain. Um, it really depends what uh, triggers we code into the terrain. Uh, since everything's kind of built up from blocks, we can actually have destructible terrain. Um, we can also make um, parts of the environment interactable with. We've got a lot of kind of threads of interest in our design document that suggest some things that were interesting to do with um with this but w like in our first versions that you'll play no we we probably won't have that just because it's like you know it's more work and we want to focus our time right now on other stuff but if we can get there maybe mayo is a mate right, okay if you guys go to amsterdam or netherlands and you go to burger king or wherever right i don't know why burger king mcdonald's was closed um if you actually get mayonnaise with your chips it's fucking amazing Belgium as well. Um, unlockable weapon skins. Yeah, we're going to have to look at a way to reward people nicely for their time in the game outside of making everything just like purchasable, right? Because we really, if we go for free to play, we want people to at least receive something that's fun. And then if they find something like the egg bot that they really like, then hopefully if they, if they deem it worth their money, they'll purchase it. We're not... I'm trying to not look at monetization at like, you know, how much money can we pull out of the community? I think it's a bad way to think that way with monetization. I think the best way is to kind of consider how many um, different ways can we create for people to, really, to, to spend their money and actually enjoy spending their money um, and feel like they've got something that's worthy. Have I played, um, yeah, Nexus and Zonic? Yeah, I've played both. They're nice. I like the um, starting gun of um, Zonic. <clears throat> Fuck you, McDonald's Master Race. Uh, will there be a backpacks with different physics of projectiles? Um, no. The backpacks are strictly tied to your movement and they might include something like a slide or a double jump or uh, something outside of the current physics. Weapons will strictly kind of be how they are, per uh, how they are with your robot. Um, if you were to buy a special like skin for your weapon, we will consider being able to change the projectile for it, but only if it's still recognizable by other players what the fuck you're doing in the game. Because if everyone's running around firing X different types of weapon lasers and shit, it, the game's just not going to be recognizable. And I think it's important that you know when someone's using a rocket launcher or a minigun, okay? Um, okay. I'm I'm really hoping we're going free to play, guys. The if we if we hit our Kickstarter goal, I mean it's pretty much we can go to free to play. Um, 
and you know i i i'm not a fan of just paying for a game um with our style of development we want to ship early update often and that's part of why we're doing this show is because we we'll start releasing builds to you in the community so i'm hoping free to play oh a hit scan weapons or are they all projectiles weapons vary from hit scan to projectile um to answer um will there be a ladder system like starcraft there will be matchmaking ladders there will also be tournament systems um you guys will be able to create your own like private ladders with your friends and stuff like that or you know you'll be able to do a lot more with the features to um help build your own communities and compete or play in a way that you enjoy more than just a standard matchmaking and um, that's something i'm very passionate about what should i play right now i want to prepare for reborn ah just no play whatever i mean like we're, hopefully I get the physics um, in the game after we've worked um, we're mainly focusing right now on um, the art and uh, the performance of the engine and the tools so people can create and then we're going to really work on um, the gameplay um, and the backpacks and, and putting stuff in there that is playable so I wouldn't worry about what you play now to prepare for Reborn can I actually show how the game works not really I mean it's it's an FPS. I don't know if this is laggy, but you move around and you jump right now with a crazy pink crosshair. Um, we're going to be releasing on um, Steam. You'll hear more about gameplay in the upcoming weeks. Um, we do this show every Sunday to give you guys an update. So every Sunday I make sure I come back with new content. Could I, re could I remake Dota 2 in Reborn? Um, actually, funny enough, our engine can support that in terms of no it, well, that's a stupid thing to say we we can do isometric view stuff or two point you know 2d stuff in terms of with the engine but we're not going to have the tools for you to do that so no you can't go make dota 2 in source 2 and call it league of dota and set it on steam okay million dollar idea there you go uh, will it be strictly multiplayer or co-op? Um, actually, interesting enough, we really want to do co-op. Um, but we don't want to kind of... Um, we don't want to affect our efforts into multiplayer first. Um, the main reason is, is like multiplayer is kind of the core, the beef, the, the, what we know as, um, as a studio. And co-op is something I'm very interested in. I would love to play... Quakey, Unreal Tournament E, or whatever kind of physics E, and actually be able to have these great co op missions where I play with my friends and the AI is simple, kind of like Doom. So if there's a big thing flying around firing rockets at you, it just literally flies around and fires rockets at you. And you know, you can have like these different triggers and in the map to do stuff. Um, you know, I would be very happy if we could pull off co op, but it's, it's a distant kind of idea in the back of our minds. But you know, I don't want to. I don't want to split our team's efforts from making what we're meant to make first, you know, proper. Um, so we'll see. But the fact that you guys can create maps, I mean, if I just put triggers in there in terms of not triggers, but give you some basic stuff, maybe when you make maps, maybe you want to make your own co-op maps. Who knows? But I, I really need to be careful um, with how we spend our time. Can you get Silencer's voice actor to disc? Uh, I don't know. Um, no, we're we're um, we've already spoken to DreamHack about doing a reborn tournament, and we're aiming for November. And if the game is uh, uh, readily playable by then and, and competitive enough, we yes, we do tournaments and we outsource them. We're also probably run some tournaments ourselves as a studio, since we do have the equipment and the capabilities. Um, but yeah can you link the kickstarter kickstarter won't start until may the main reason we're pushing off kickstarter is because we don't want to come to kickstarter with concept art and be like yo guys here's some pretty pictures <laughs> where's the money um because w w as a studio we're new uh we want to get as much in the game as possible and kind of push our finances now to get the game you know models in animations particle effects gameplay uh, to basically give the game life right 
um and then once we go to kickstarter at least then people will hopefully be like okay these guys you know they're already halfway there let's help them get to the end of development so that's why we're putting the kickstarter up until may um there will be levels levels will connect to your account um and um will there be any ranked systems yeah there'll be ranked play um yeah we have ideas in the company about some anti-cheat stuff right now i'm not going to go into it because i'm not the best person to ask because that's like that's clever shit and i'm not i'm not clever i would rather 2v2 actually or 1v1 is the main mode to play competitively but i think what's most important is make the game fun for everyone or as many people to play in any multiplayer environment you know i don't think people enjoy 1v1 it's it's a very it's a very horrible thing to play i would much rather the competitive scene be 2v2 but for to be able to do that i have to make a very compelling 2v2 mode where it isn't just two people doing the same thing you know running around with guns shooting each other but there's actually an element there where one of them maybe has the weaponry and the other one has more abilities and can affect the outcome of the game in a more strategic way um so you know that's that's something we're looking into um the the nickname you have on the forums i'm not sure we're actually working on a new website um if anybody wants to help out with website stuff as well by the way you're more than welcome to message us at, at follow too good because we have one website guy but he's a little bit busy sex sells what will be sexy about reborn eggbot need i say more <laughs> I guess you'll be playing with blue. No, I won't, Lincoln. And hello, Lincoln, by the way. Um, yeah, there's still plans for the wingman system. Uh, let's not get into it now because we're out of time. Will it have matchmaking? Yes. Let's wrap it up, James. SO5 Love has just cancelled the show. Everyone say thank you, SO5 Love, um, for doing that. Um, and that's it. The show's cancelled. SO5 Love finished it. We're done. This has been Reborn Show number three. Again, I do thank you very much for your um, for your contributions. Um, and we're over an hour. So next week we'll be back at 8 p.m. CET. And then we will um, we'll have more updates for you and hopefully you'll be able to get the engine kind of like you know pre-alpha that we're we're working with now okay um that's what that's our hopes and goals i'm gonna play nick's little music to take us out um so goodbye thank you and see you next week and reborn.gg is where you can register if you're interested or just message us on twitter at follow 2gd here's some music and an eggbot peace <laughs>